Hi everybody, I'm Lin Duan. Welcome back to my channel. So far, we have already explored Permissive Definition, Architecture, and Demo how to use Permissive Monitor external Java App GVM. We are able to see the Java App GVM metrics in Permissive UI and the Grafana dashboard. If the Java app stops working, you will get the alert email. In this video, we are going to use Docker Compose to install React app, Spring Boot app, Redis, React exporter, Redis exporter, Permissives, Alert Manager, and Grafana. The video topic is Environment Detail, Demo System Overview, Use Docker Compose to install React app, Spring Boot app, Redis, Exporters, Permissives, Alert Manager, and Grafana. Verify Demo System, Tie the Permissives Monitoring, after you complete the video, you will have a running environment. Includes React UI, Spring Boot Microservice, and React. If React UI or Spring Boot Microservice or Redis stop working, you will get alert emails from Permissives. All video related to Markdown and YAML files are in my GitHub. The links are in the below. First topic, environment detail. If you watched my previous video, or you have a running Docker Compose environment, feel free to jump to the second topic. I'd like to show my demo environment first. My leading box is Oracle Linux Server 8.4. My login user is Lian, who is able to run Docker, Docker Compose, and sudo commands. Let me log into my Linux box. You see the command cat select etc select oracle hyphen release is able to retrieve my Linux version. My Linux version is Oracle Linux Server Release 8.4. If you use different Linux version and run into some error in your exercise, 90% issues related to permissions, such as file permissions or user permissions. My Docker version is 20.10.6. Version check command is docker space minor v. Also, I use a VS Code Docker plugin to check Docker container status and stop Docker containers. If you do not use VS Code, you can run Docker command in terminal. My Docker Compose version is 1.27.4. Your local version is higher than 1.27 should be fine. For now, latest Docker Compose version is 1.27.4. Let me show my Docker Compose version. Command is docker compose space version. My Docker Compose version is highlighted. This URL for check Docker Compose and Docker compatibility metrics. If your local version is different than my use, please check your version compatibility. If you are environment ready, we can move to the second topic, demo system overview. Close my terminal. First, uh, introduce demo docker image. In app part, I created the React UI app and the Spring Boot Microservice app docker images. Redis is from Redis official docker image. The version is 6.2 Alpine. Next, exporters. Micro remote registry permissions is added to my Spring Boot Microservice app. So we do need to add additional exporter to support permissions metrics. There are two exporters, one for Nginx, other is for Redis. The exporters are used to retrieve monitor information from source Docker image and then convert to Permissive format to share the data. And then Permissive stack. Permissive Docker version is 2.33.5. Permissive Alert Manager version is 0.23.0. Grafana version is 8.4.3. And then go to the monitoring data flow. The data flow chart gives you an idea how Permissive monitoring my microservice flavors apps. The chart has three parts, app, exporter, and Permissive. I will follow the number and go to each part. First part, app. Step one, you can add a user first and the last name and delete them in React UI app. 
the React app open the port 8080. Step 2. React UI called the Spring Boot Microservice to Cloud. Microservice port is 99.99. Spring Boot app microservice cross app and exporter parts because I add the premises exporter in the code. We do need exporter outside. Step 3. Spring Boot microservice called Redis to save and delete the data. Redis use default port 63.79. Second part, exporter. There are three types for exporter. First type, build export inside your app. We can add export code part of your app code. Second type, use a script to start main thread and exporter when the container start. That means when the container start, there are two threads running. One thread for function, second thread for the exporter. Third type, Use to outside exporter. Outside exporter is able to monitor multiple same apps. Let us to move to step four. Nginx premises exporter is, is used to monitor Nginx of React UI. In step five, Redis exporter watch Redis metrics. I will cover exporter detail in future videos. Third part, premises stack. Three jobs are configured in premises.yaml file. In step 6, job index premises exporter use port 9113 to monitor React UI. Step 7, Spring Boot microservice exporter matrix on port 9999. The matrix path is slash actuator slash premises. Step 8, job Redis Premises Exporter is working on the port 91.22. Also, I created two alert rules YAML files are under the rules folder. We are going into a way to more detail about alert rule and alert manager later on my next video. In previous videos, we already go through Premises and Grafana detail. The link in the top corner. All right. Now we are past the data flow picture. Let us move to the next topic. Use Docker Compose to install React App, Spring Boot Microservice, Redis, Exporters, Permises, Alert Manager, and Grafana. First, file structure. Make sure your system has the same folder structure. The folder and the files you can clone from my Git repository, as I mentioned in the video start. One thing I want to mention, after you cloned, you have to change the SMTP service username and the password in alert manager.yaml file. This is my Docker Compose file. There are two key points. Permissions network is created and used all the services talk to each other. Permissions stack containers run as root user to avoid configuration file permissions issue. That is not best practice. If you want to run it without a root user, there is a video show you how to build and run a container without root user. If you have any questions, please add comments in below. And then log into my demo environment to run Docker Compose command. This is my Docker Compose YAML file. Let me run command Docker Compose space app space minor D to create all containers. All containers are created. Next, verify the services. Let me log into my remote Linux desktop. Let me zoom out the desktop. First, check my app. My app address is localhost port number 8080. Try to add a user and then delete it. My app looks good. Next, check permissions monitor target. URL is localhost port is 1990 go down to the targets three targets running nginx permissions exporter for react ui redis permissions exporter to use to monitor redis spring boot permissions exporter for spring boot microservice monitor next check 
two group rules, exporter down rules in there, and uh, side down rules. Uh, third check, alert manager. Alert manager address is local host, port is 1993. Alert manager is running. After that, check premises metrics. Check React UI metrics. We are able to retrieve the engine's connection status. And then check the Supreme Boot microservice metrics. URL is localhost port 1999. Path is extruder slash premises. And this is my microservice metrics. Let's use localhost port number 9021 to check Redis metrics. This is Redis metrics. We check out related services. My app service is running. Exporter is running. Targets and rules are added to the premises. Alert manager running. All the metrics is running. Finally, test alert rule when the target Docker containers are down. Stop Supreme Boot microservice and React and Redis. I stop three my app containers. Should receive one grouping email. This is my alert email. I got three alerts. Supreme Boot offline, Redis offline, and, and React offline. I'll stop exporter and check the alert mail again. I'll stop two exporters and check email. One exporter for the NGX, stop it. And also stop Redis exporter. I received exporter's offline alert email. All the topics are completed. Today we learned Permissive monitoring data flow. Use Docker Compose to install React app, Spring Boot app, Redis, exporters, Permissive alert manager, and Grafana. Test Permissive monitoring. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was help, and it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in the comment section below and I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.